Hello and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in today. We've been studying about loving God. Uh, the, the scribe goes to the Lord Jesus and asks that important question. What is the great commandment? And the Lord replies that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind. And this is the first and great commandment. And then he says, the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So the question is, how do I practically love God? Is it enough for me to just emote? and express and say, Oh God, I love you. Or is it okay to just sing about it? And is that it? So that's the question. How can I practically love God? The Word of God reveals several keys to uh, what it is to actually love God. And one of which is obedience. Maybe we've, we've not considered it or maybe we've not given it importance, but obedience to obey God is to love Him. John chapter 14 and verse 15, it says, um, these are the words of the Lord Jesus and he says, If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Again, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3, um, For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. The word keep here means to guard, to fulfill and to hold fast. So we guard what was committed to us. We preserve what the Lord has committed to us. The call of God, the anointing, the gifts, the revelations. No, we guard it. We don't lose it or we don't neglect it. It also, keep also means to fulfill or to obey. That we obey the word of God, that we obey his directive, that we obey his instructions. It also means to hold fast, which means we hold fast to the truth. We hold fa fast to the the values of the Word of God. We hold fast to the ways of God uh, despite difficulties, challenges, and uh, maybe even if there is opposition, we hold fast to, uh, to the Word of God. So uh, to obey God, to keep His commandments is to love Him. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 5 says, Whoever keeps His word, truly the love of God is perfected in Him. By this we know that we are in Him. So when we keep His word, when we obey, when we guard His, um, uh, whatever He's committed to us, the love of God is in fact perfected or matured or brought to perfection in us. Now, the, 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 uh, the other aspect of it is that we need to keep His commands from our heart. Let's look at Proverbs 3 and verse 1. Proverbs 3 verse 1, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. So this means that we carry out the spirit of the command and not just the letter. Uh, for example, if you're, if you're going down, if you're driving down the road and we see a signal and uh, you know, to obey God or to obey the law of the land would be to stop at the signal if it's red, um, which means that we are obeying it in the spirit of the law or, or the guideline of the law of the land. But if you're looking around for a policeman and if you don't find a policeman and then we keep going when there's a red signal, that means that we are not obeying it according to the spirit, but we are actually obeying it only to the letter, right? So here we see that uh, the instruction from God's word is, let your heart keep my commands. So we, we keep his commands uh, uh, from our heart and not just with the word, not just with the letter, but also through our actions and with the spirit. We obey the spirit of the command. Okay. So today, let us not miss out on the opportunity to love God through our obedience, to guard what was committed to us, to obey him and to hold fast to his word, even as he leads us. Um, so let's pray and let's ask God to empower us and to strengthen us in this area. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this revelation that we, when we obey you, it is uh, our demonstration, our expression of love for you. Lord, we pray that you'll enable us to love us fully, Lord, in this area as well. Enable us to guard what was committed to us. Enable us to obey you, Lord, from our heart, Lord. Enable us to keep the commandments from our heart, Lord. Not just the letter, but the spirit of the commandment as well. We thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.